Hi, my name is Mary Helen Dalkong and I'm from Uganda. I work with an organization called Zimbo Women. I've been asked to do a provocation on rethinking design for marginalized learners. When I think about marginalized learners, I think about the disempowered groups of people in my community who have for a very long time been left out of building society or everyday activities, which of course may have been because of reasons out of their control. For example, gender, tribe, indigenous people, the disabled, and social class, the difference between the poor and the rich. Now, according to statistics, 77% of Uganda, Uganda's population is under the age of 30. 83% of these people are unemployed. Why? It brings a lot of questions into mind. And of course, the education is the most pressing issue, the education system. An, an education system that has for a very long time stifled critical thinking, creativity and talent development. Some of the issues that we face are in the school environment and outside the school environment. In the, in, in the school environment, you may look at issues such as access to resources, for example the books or computers, but then again if I look at computers, that means technology, and technology is a very, very pressing issue because our population is mostly rural. So if the rural population has no access to technology, then again, you also have to look at adaptability. How are they adapting to the use of this specific technology? I got the opportunity to use the computer when I was around the age of 13 or 14 and I was in school. I was intrigued by it, I wanted to learn more about it and how it works. But there were a few challenges that were standing in my way. For example, access. I would only access the computer in the computer library once in a week or once in a fortnight. And then again, when I did access them, we'd have to share between the groups, groups of five or groups of ten. Also, if we look at challenges that are faced outside of the school environment, for example, for the girls, you find that most girls drop out of school because of different problems, like lack of sanitary towels, genital mutilation, child marriages, early pregnancies. So then, I think if we are designing for marginalized learners, we have to look at the challenges that they face in the school environment, and also those challenges that they face outside of the school environment. Thank you. I hope my, my provocation makes for an interesting conversation.